Hi, I am Lilac Reverie ASMR, and this is my tired autocomplete 10,000 subscriber special. This one might get a little weird. Alrighty, first order of business, first things first. First things first. I absolutely have to thank each and every one of you. Everyone who has subscribed to the channel, everyone who has watched my videos, this journey would not be possible without all of you. And trust me, I am so incredibly thankful to all of you for subscribing, for choosing to watch me week after week, for your incredibly supportive comments, everything. It's been incredible to be a part of this community. And I think that this video is going to have a lot of really interesting news that you're going to want to hear. So make sure you stick around. Okay. Wonderful. Hi there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've got to tell you something really, really important. Today's video is very, very, very special because today's video is sponsored. Sort of, you know what? I'll tell you what, I'll leave it to him to better explain everything, but he's going to do that towards the end of the video. So how about you just stick around until then he'll explain everything and then I won't have to, you know, interrupt everything again. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much for understanding. I really appreciate it. And, uh, well, I got to get going. Okay. All right. Back to your regularly scheduled relaxing. Now, let's start the interview, shall we? Wonderful. First things first, what is lilacs favorite? Lots of people wanted to know what my favorite of various things was. Um, lots of people wanted to know video games, books, ASMR, all sorts of stuff. So I compiled this list of the most popular questions that I was asked and I'll answer it now. Okay. Wonderful. First question. This feels like a milestone. What is Lilac's favorite color? Lilac. I feel like that one's a little self-explanatory. No, I love Lilac. Um, it wasn't always lilac. My favorite color wasn't always lilac. I liked red and blue and black and, but lilac just feels right. I have a lilac phone, lilac sticky notes. It's a very nice color and I like it a whole awful lot. Alrighty, moving right along. What is lilac's favorite vacation spot? Good question. Weirdly enough, Kentucky. I love Kentucky, beautiful country out there, wonderful mountains, forest areas. It's really, really beautiful. When I went down there, I got to see the total solar eclipse that happened a few years ago, and it was beautiful. I mean, serene, almost indescribable is how I would attempt to describe it. There was something so magical about seeing this almost 360 degrees sunset. And as the sun was being obscured by the moon, the cicadas started chirping and everything was just elevated. It was a magical moment. And it was one of those moments that you know you're going to remember. And to this day, even several years later, I absolutely do. I absolutely do. All right, next up, this one's a little longer. What is Lilac's favorite, Oops. favorite character? from Avatar The Last Airbender? It's a tough question. First of all, Avatar The Last Airbender is an incredible show. Whoever asked me this, you have wonderful taste, okay? Excellent taste. I've loved this show ever since I was like 12, I think, is when I first got my first DVD set of it. We didn't grow up with cable, so we had to use DVDs to get all the shows that we wanted to watch. Incredible cast incredible story, beautiful animation. It really has it all. But if I had to pick just one favorite character, I think I would have to pick Iroh. And 
I think a lot of you know why he's incredibly wise, kind. He is, I think, someone who everyone should strive to be like. But Ira is just a great character. I love him. And uh, yeah, that's why he's my favorite. Next up, what is Lilac's favorite video game? So I got two versions of this question. The first version was, what is a game you return to? And there's actually two. I always find myself coming back to Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim. I just really like those titles. Um, they're very, very similar in gameplay, but there's something about them being able to create a whole new character, being able to live out an entirely unique experience for each one that I really, really enjoy. But my favorite game that I've been playing recently is uh, Pokemon Black 2. You guys know I have a Pokemon video. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. And uh, I think there actually might be a few questions on here about Pokemon. Let's see. What is Lilac's favorite Pokemon? Well, look at that. You might as well just call me a psychic at this point. <laughs> um, it's almost like I put this list together or compiled it. But shh. We don't need anybody to know that. We don't need to spoil the surprise. Not in the slightest. We'll leave the mystery up to you guys to solve. Favorite Pokemon? I love, love, love Azumarill. Um, Azumarill has been my favorite for ever since I had a playthrough of Pokemon X with an Azumarill. Yeah. Um, just a great Pokemon. Very, very defensively bulky at the same time with the right ability. An absolute powerhouse. So definitely a favorite Pokemon. I really like any Pokemon that's very like egg-shaped, shaped like an egg. Um, I just think that they're really friend-shaped when they're shaped like an egg. It's really great. All right, next up. What? Oops. I can't reveal the surprise of the next one yet. Looks like my sticky notes got a little bit, uh, got a little tangled. What is Lilac's favorite ASMR to watch? It's a really good question. I've been really into massage ASMR recently. Um, massage, ASMR, chiropractic, ASMR, um, that kind of stuff. I also really, really like luxury ASMR. That's probably my favorite overall. And that's why I make a lot of luxury ASMR because that's what I like to watch and that's what I like to do. So I hope that answers that question. What is Lilac's favorite? ASMR to perform. Well, happy days. That would be luxury ASMR that I really like to perform, but that I really like to do as a video is anything that involves making props like these. I love crafts, um, making stuff like this, like the Willy Wonka video. I made a lot of stuff for that. I had an excellent, excellent time. It was really, really fun. Now, that being said, People then naturally ask, like, oh, are you really good at crafting then? And the answer is, like, decidedly no. Um, I'm about as good as... It just, just good enough to make me dangerous, I think is how they put it. But I'm not... Um, I, I can't sew. You know, I'm only barely competent with a pair of scissors. So even though I love crafting and I really like to make these types of props, I'm by no means an expert, okay? So you're not going to see any uh, crazy, elaborate costuming from me. At least, not anytime soon. We may have to wait a little bit for that. My skills to catch up with uh, the rest of the operation. Wonderful. All right, and last one on the favorite, okay? So what is Lilac's favorite book? This is a really good question. I love this question because my favorite book is The Night Circus. The Night Circus is a young adult. Um, it's almost a, it could be construed as a romance novel or a fantasy novel, or I don't know. It's very difficult to pin down into a genre, into a genre, into a genre, just one genre. It's a mix, but what I love about it is it's so aesthetically pleasing. You can feel every location like you're there yourself all right 
The Night Circus is very, very atmospheric. It's very powerful. And perhaps even more than that, that serves to enhance, serves to heighten, serves to really make stick a lot of the other incredible elements to it. I only read it once every few years or so to preserve that magic. But I love that book, and it is far away my favorite. Favorite genres overall is probably um, either sci-fi, fantasy, that kind of stuff. The stuff that I grew up reading is the stuff pretty much that I still read. Yeah. Alrighty, now, because this is a very original idea that I definitely didn't take for anyone in this interview format, I just am having this thought that I should throw this away, you know, very dramatically. So let's see. If we can make that happen. Alrighty, next set of questions is what is lilacs? Notice there's no favorite on this one, no favorite on this one. So I bet I'm going to get a lot, um, maybe broader range of questions, maybe some, uh, well, I guess some personal questions probably, but also some more like out there questions, but I don't really know, but I secretly do. Alrighty, so let's start up here. What is Lilac's dream job? Well, aside from bringing excellent ASMR content to you guys, my dream job is uh, to be a writer, to be an author. I have a lot of writing projects that I'm working on, lots of writing that I do um, here and there, and I've, you know, entered into a couple contests in the past, won a couple contests in the past. Um, I mostly write nowadays um, stuff for kids so young adult stuff like what I grew up reading and I've done a few children's books as well but when I started out I was always um, doing stuff that was a little bit darker a little bit edgier um, stuff like uh, I don't want to say like weird fiction but kind of that um, eldritch horror type vibe um, I was inspired a lot by some of the other creators in that space, and I wanted to see what I could do. Ultimately, you know, I wrote a few scary stories and won a few scary story competitions, but um, nothing that quite stuck, and nothing that really made me go like, wow, I've really created something that, that is leaping off the page and showing how special it is. So I moved into something that was a little bit more inspiring to me, stuff that I would want, have wanted to read when I was a little bit younger, and I found more success in that space. Hope that answers that question. I know it was a little bit of a long-winded one. Next, what is Lilac's college degree? This is a really good question. Really good question with a little bit of an unexpected answer, because my degree is not in writing. My degree is not in English. It's not in any of the... Um, you know, applied sciences, nothing like that. My degree is in accounting. I have a bachelor's of accounting. So for that one fellow who had commented on my accounting or my accountant video, he said, you know, if you don't have an accountant degree, it is incredibly impressive. Be not impressed, my friend, be not impressed. I do have an accounting degree. And in fact, I've been doing personal income taxes for just about four years at this point. So. I've been doing a lot of work with the American personal income tax system, okay? Uh, maybe a little unexpected, maybe not something that you would have thought that I did, but I really wanted to do something that I knew I was going to have a lot of opportunities in, and accounting definitely, I've, I've had a lot of opportunities, a lot of excellent opportunities in accounting. Next up, not a longer one, all right. Let's see, what is Lilac? inspiration for the channel or channel name? It's a really good question. I was inspired to make an ASMR channel um, just by watching a lot of ASMR content. I became so enthralled with it. And it was actually my first summer out of high school. My first summer out of high school. I was working the night shift at a factory. And when you work the night shift, you have to sleep in the morning. It was very difficult for me to sleep in the morning. So I put on ASMR, and I don't think that was my first introduction to it, but it was really the most impactful. It made me think like, wow, I really want to be able to help people, like how these people, these ASMRists have helped me. 
Now for the channel name. Originally, I'd want to be Lilac, my favorite color. Dreams, Lilac. Dreams, okay, Lilac. Dreams. But Lilac Dreams was taken. So I looked up the thesaurus and I got Lilac Reverie. Now, originally I was a little put out. I was a little sad because I really wanted to be Lilac Dreams, but the more that I've worked with Lilac Reverie and the more that I've been, you know, publishing videos under that name, I've grown to really love it and appreciate it more and more. And nowadays I like it even more, doubly more, than I do Lilac Dreams. All right, next up. What is Lilac's inspiration for new videos? I have a couple places where I get inspiration, but the biggest one, the biggest one, the biggest, most important one, is all of you guys. All of the people who watch me, people who leave incredible comments, people who leave suggestions. It's all of you guys, and it really means a lot to me, okay? And it's really, really special, so please keep leaving those suggestions. Please keep leaving that feedback. It really helps me out a lot. It gives me incredible inspiration to keep making new, better, and even more high quality luxury videos for you, okay? Wonderful. Now, up next, what is Lilac's home state? First, I guess I'm a little uh, offended, maybe. Not really. Not really. That nobody thought that I was British. But uh, no, I'm, I'm very clearly American, I guess. Uh, I am from one of the northeastern states, and that's all you're going to get out of me, okay? So, shh. it's a bit of a secret, bit of a secret, it's a little bit of a secret. And that's all you're going to get, one of the northeastern states, okay? Alrighty, what's next? What is Lilac's top three ASMR channels this month? Okay, so I'll do this month and then probably in general, okay? So this month, I really, really come to enjoy uh, ASMR Twix, Sheely ASMR, and Haircut Harry. So a lot of that massage-centric stuff, like I was telling you about earlier. But my top three, probably of all time, would be Goodnight Moon, Articulate Design, and Fred's Voice, Fred's Voice ASMR. And you guys, you know, you get my inspiration. I see a lot of you people, you guys putting in the comments that, oh, this reminds me of this. Or, oh, man, you could be, um, you know, Fred's voice's brother or Articulate Design's brother. And that really warms my heart because I love those guys. I admire those guys so much. I think what they've done in the space is incredible. And I'm so inspired by so many of their videos that it really is super encouraging to hear that you guys like my stuff so much that you would compare it to their stuff. Um, and Goodnight Moon, of course, is just incredible. Um, I really got hooked into her Battle Brook series, but I love all of her content, okay? She's a really wonderful ASMR artist. I would tell you to go check her out, but um, it's Goodnight Moon. You definitely have. Alrighty, and finally for this card, what is Lilac's relation? to Steve Martin. I was a little surprised when I got this question because uh, I am in no way, shape, or form related to Steve Martin as far as I know. So no relation whatsoever, but a lot of people thought that I must be. No, not at all. Not in the slightest. Um, I wish I had some of his musical talent, but alas. Now, we have finished another card triumphantly. And so we must give it, of course, the triumphant toss. I feel like I'm going to break something at some point, but until that happens, we'll keep doing the triumphant toss. Alrighty, next board is does lilac, does lilac. Does lilac what? I don't know, but we'll find out together. Does lilac like to travel? I love to travel. Um, every year, my family and I would go on a road trip. Last year, we went to Arizona. And this year, we did a tour of the New England states. Or at least the ones that I don't live in, right? Wonderful. Really beautiful country in both places. Very, very different. Um, 
want to say environment, but I know that there's a better word, but I can't quite come up with it. But beautiful, beautiful country, all the same. Arizona looks, for those of you who have not been to Arizona, it looks like a diorama. It looks exactly how you expect it to look. It's incredibly surprising, but it looks exactly how you would expect it to look. The cacti, they're so incredibly, I don't want to say still, but they're so large, imposing. They look exactly how you expect them to look, and it's really incredible. I had a great time out there. Does Lilac have tips for new ASM artists? You bet I do. You bet I do. Tip number one, find your niche, right? Find your niche and then make videos inside that niche. I do a lot of luxury content. You guys like it and I love to make it. So as long as you guys keep watching, subscribing and all that good stuff, you know I'm going to keep making it. And then tip number two is lighting. For the first couple of years that I was running this channel, for the first well, year and a half maybe, I did not know a whole lot about lighting. Okay. Now I've learned a lot more about lighting. For every article you read, every minute you invest into learning about lighting, learning how to manipulate it, learning how to utilize it best, you are going to see 10 times the payoff in the quality and the visual aesthetic of your videos. You can be able to do a lot more, right? And then uh, tip number three, probably not as important as tip number two, but almost as important. I don't use a cloth green screen anymore. I used to, but cloth green screens, my goodness, they wrinkle so much. They wrinkle and they're just kind of a hassle to deal with. They create a bunch of shadows. Not what we like to see especially on a green screen. No, 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 no. So instead I built a green screen for about $6 because I went to the dollar store and I bought myself six, six, six pieces of bright neon green poster board. I taped those together and I pinned them up on my wall and that has worked infinitely better than the cloth green screen, which cost me an awful lot of money. <laughs> cost me an awful lot of money. But this works way better and it's incredibly cheaper. So if you're thinking of doing stuff with a, uh, a green screen, just make it yourself. You do not need to buy it online. You can just make it yourself. All right. Next question. Does Lilac use vintage aesthetics outside of his videos? Absolutely. That scary story of competition I told you about. The costumes were not required, but you know me, I like to go a little bit above and beyond with, well, just about everything. So I would always show up in increasingly complicated period costumes for the period that I was writing because I was writing um, scary stories that were usually, that were usually set pretty well back in uh, you know, the late 1800s, so I'd wear period clothing, not dissimilar to this vest and, you know, collared shirt, but with a lot more accoutrements, a lot more accessories put onto it, okay? Yeah, it was a really great time, and yeah, I love vintage aesthetics. Way before I started this channel, I was collecting typewriters, I was collecting um, antiques, a lot of what you see was not originally purchased for this channel, a lot of the props that I've used throughout the years are just stuff that I had laying around. Um, helps keep the budget down, yeah. That's another tip. Do make sure that you have a budget for your videos for new ASM artists. Alrighty. Next question. Does Lilac accept music recommendations? You bet I do. You bet I do. I love music. Love music. I love all types of music. I love doo-wop. I love Scandinavian power metal. I love sea shanties. I love Celtic folk music. I love pop. I love classic rock and roll. Pretty much anything I like. I even like country. I even like a lot of rap. There's not one genre of music that doesn't have at least one song that I like. So please suggest stuff to me. There was, heck, there was a whole period of time just based off of someone's recommendations. I was listening to synthwave music, synth 
synthwave music. I was solely listening to synthwave music. So yes, I love recommendations, in fact. Because you asked, I happen to have a recommendation for you. I'm in no way affiliated with this band, but I want all of you guys to check out Atomic Drum Assembly, okay? Atomic Drum Assembly. They're an incredible new age, very new age band with a lot of rhythm, a lot of electronic, excellent beats and um, arrangements, and some stellar vocals. So be sure to check them out if and when you get the chance, okay? They're a really great band. So if you get the chance, go and check them out, okay? Alrighty, next question. Does Lilac have goals for the channel? You bet I do. I always have goals for the channel. One of my big goals, of course, is always to create excellent luxury ASMR role plays for you guys. Luxury any style of role play. Or I should say any style of role play. I want to create the best. I want to create the highest quality. I want to create stuff that you guys want to watch over and over again, right? Stuff that relaxes you, stuff that helps you, you know, calm down. The, the best comments I get are when people are commenting and saying, like, I come back to this video every night because I just love it so much because it helps me sleep. And I was like, that's incredible to me because I had so many videos like that when I was working at that factory and then when I was going through school that I would just return to night after night to help me really relax and get in the right headspace to have a productive sleep and then next day. So if I can be even a small part of that for just a couple people, it's incredible. But in terms of subscriber goal, I have a really ambitious goal, okay? I have an ambitious goal. I want to get to 15,000. 15,000. I want to get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know some of you guys must think I'm crazy, but I think we can do it. I think if everyone who watches this video subscribes, I think if you, yes you, I think if you subscribe right now, we can absolutely reach that goal. This community is incredible. This community has been growing, and I think that we can capture a lot of that growth, a lot of that momentum, and reach that big goal, okay? All right. Next. Does Lilac, his family or friends, watch? His videos no no they do not no 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 in fact none of my family or friends they, they don't like ASMR at all yeah. but I love ASMR so much they do not now do they know about the channel yes they do are they proud of me they absolutely are they don't quite get what I make they don't quite understand everything but they'll suggest videos ideas to me. They'll celebrate with me when videos do really, really well or when we reach incredible milestones like 10,000 subscribers, which I'm still blown away by. I really am. Again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I'm just blown away. Um, but they do not watch my videos. Next question, we're getting close to the end of this card. Does Lilac prefer DC or Marvel? Interesting question. I would say nowadays I prefer DC. There was a there was a period of time back in the day when I would have said Marvel easily, but for some reason, um, and I couldn't tell you why, I've started like DC a little bit more. So hope that answers that question. And finally, does Lilac do research for his videos? You bet I do. I do a lot of research. If I'm doing a, a role play that's pretty established in the community, um, chiropractor role play or medical role play, cranial exam, um, uh, the eye exam role play, I'll watch a lot of ASMR YouTube videos about that. I'll watch a lot of scientific videos about it and I'll try to write as many notes as I can, you know, set myself up kind of an itinerary, things that I want to talk about in the video, and I'll just go and do it for videos that are more like luxury, right? For more of the luxury videos that are more about the um, the actual product. I take a lot more notes. I do a lot more research. I might take three, four hours just to research. I'll go on the company website. I'll look up YouTube videos or reviews of these luxury products. I'll, 
you know, see what I can find for photos, if there are a lot of photos that are available that I can show you guys. Um, I do a lot of research, and I don't necessarily script videos. I don't script videos per se, but usually I'll have, especially for luxury videos, I'll have a, a notes, things that I want to talk about, and sometimes I'll include little um, particular quotes that I want to mention if I see in the promotional material that there's one particularly interesting descriptor that's utilized. I'll make sure to call that out and I'll make sure to mention that so that you guys get to enjoy it too. So no like scripting, but a lot of research. Alrighty, now for the toss, here we go. Still haven't broken anything yet. Still have not broken anything yet. I think it's a small miracle, but we're going to keep on keeping on miscellaneous. These were questions that were really, really interesting, but just didn't quite fit anywhere else. So I wanted to compile them, show them to you guys, and hopefully answer a couple key things for you guys. What did you do during your break? Good question. For those of you that don't know, I had to take a break a little bit less than a year from the channel, um, and I didn't initially tell you guys why, but I'm now Happy to say that the reason that I took a break was to get my college degree, was to graduate college with that accounting degree. So that is why I had to take the break. And it really was very sad for me. I did not want to leave, didn't want to stop making videos, but I think it was almost one of those blessings in disguise. It allowed me to really recharge. It allowed me to get a lot more inspiration. It allowed me to learn a whole awful more, a lot more about video production, about lighting. I took a uh, digital arts class in college that helped me out a whole lot. So even though it wasn't something that I really wanted to do, I was just too overwhelmed to be doing everything that I wanted to do, it really did end up being that I can provide you guys way higher quality videos. So one of those blessings in disguise. All right, next question. What do you collect? Good question. I collect um, basically two things, two major things. I collect typewriters, typewriters, and antiques, similar to that, and then DVDs. I have a whole mess of a collection of DVDs, of TV shows, of movies. I love DVDs. I really, really like having the physical media option. I also have probably way too many DVD players and VCR players and Blu-ray players and all sorts of different players. Um, but I just, I really like to collect the box sets, the complete collections of TV shows and know that, you know, when I get around to watching them, I don't have to worry about paying for a streaming service. I don't have to worry about finding, you know, where was it? Did it move somewhere? Do I have to worry about it being canceled? Nope. I have it all on DVD. So that is why I collect DVDs. Alrighty, next question. Do you have any hobbies? Great question. And the answer is of course, like this, still kind of a hobby for me. Um, so creating these videos for you guys. And then the other big hobby, and like I said, is writing. I do an awful lot of writing. Love to write all sorts of different stuff. Right now I'm working on a little bit of a longer work and uh, at some point, maybe in the future, I might just be able to share with you guys some of the stuff that I've written, okay? Alrighty, so maybe look forward to that. Are you a lefty or a righty? Good question. Really good question, but I am right-handed. Everything that I do with my left hand is done infinitely worse than if I had done it with my right hand. So, I am right-handed. I am not ambidextrous. Not ambidextrous in the slightest. Very right-handed. Good question. Next. How did you first learn about ASMR? The memory's a bit hazy. A bit hazy. A little bit hazy. So I don't quite remember, but I'm almost certain it was an Articulate Designs video. One of his really old videos, because this was an awful long time ago, um, that really got me into ASMR. So... Thank you to him. And then the rest of the community, you know, really solidified my interest and my want to be a part of the community. So, cause you're all so welcoming and everything. So 
yeah, that's really at least how I remember it is from uh, from Articulate Designs being my first watch. And I think, I mean, he's much larger now, but I think this was back when he had only like 13,000 subscribers, which if you look at his sub count now, you think, when was he ever at 13,000 subscribers? But he was at one point. So, um, yeah, that's, I hope that answers that question. Final one for this sheet. What is your recording setup and editing process? So I have a light right here, right there, right there, and I have two separate lights separately lighting the green screen, okay? So there are no shadows on the green screen. It's very important. Uh, to record, I just use my phone, and I've tried a bunch of different cameras, but I find that my phone, you know, phone cameras these days, they're just so incredible that you almost don't need anything else. At least I don't. Uh, and then to record the sound, I use a Blue Yeti X. Very, very popular choice. Pretty cost-effective, pretty affordable. So if you are a new ASM artist, Blue Yeti's a, a solid brand. There are definitely um, better microphones out there. Heck, there are $10,000 microphones out there. But if you're just starting out, you can't go wrong with Blue Yeti. And then I do all of my editing on my personal computer. And I do everything now through Premiere Pro. In the past, I used DaVinci, I used uh, PowerDirector, but nowadays I, I stick with Adobe. Um, and that's mostly because I learned how to use Adobe through my uh, digital arts class. So now that I know how to use it, and I'm able to really integrate you know, Photoshop into uh, Illustrator, into um, Premiere Pro. So everything works together really nicely, and it's a good it's a good system that I have now. Certainly a little bit better system than I used to have, okay? Alrighty, that does it for this one. So let's do the toss, all right? Nothing's broken yet. I have to say that smaller and smaller each time, softer and softer because I feel like we're tempting fate. I really feel like we're tempting fate, but it's okay because uh, nothing's broken yet. All right. Final set of questions. Will Lilac. I imagine that these questions are going to be a little bit harder hitting. So let's see. You can already tell these are these are much longer questions than they were previous. So let's check it out. Will Lilac do a Halloween special and or role play? Good question. I don't want to give anything away yet, but for those of you who have been in the community a while, you know that I've done a couple role plays for the occult, right? Salesperson of the occult. I called it the House of Alexander, and I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag just yet. Just yet. We're not going to let that cat out of the bag just yet. I wouldn't be too surprised. I wouldn't be too terribly surprised if, for Halloween, you saw a return to the house of Alexander, all right? So maybe keep that in the back of your mind as we get closer and closer to spooky season. All righty, next question, will Lilac bring back the shady salesman and or Mr. Vendor? That's what he was former, formerly known as. And the answer is, it's really up to you guys. You see, a little quirk, nobody knows this, but a little quirk about the Shady Salesman is that I did that role play when I was quite ill. And when I was sick, you know, you get the, the sore throat and it changes your voice. And for me, it dropped my voice a little bit and it made that accent, it made that voice for the Shady Salesman really distinct. People loved that voice. They said, my goodness, it sounds so authentic. Um, that's not how I normally talk. And in fact, I'm finding it a little bit difficult to slip back into that voice because I really haven't had the opportunity to be that sick again. I really hope I don't. So if you guys are okay with the voice changing, right? If you are okay with the voice being a little bit different for the shady salesman roleplay. I'll absolutely bring back Mr. Vendor, 
But if you think that voice was too iconic, I don't want to see a different version. Then we'll just leave them in the past. It's really up to you. So leave a comment. You know, leave a little comment on this video saying if you would prefer it one way or the other. And then we'll make some decisions from there. But for now, for now I don't plan to bring them back unless you guys really, really want them to come back. And if you're okay with the voice changing. Um, it was a weird set of circuits. That was a weird weekend. I had so much fun filming, but I was also um, in pain. <laughs> it's one of those weird weekends where you're like, oh man, I really wanted to film a video. I thought the video turned out really, really well. I was super pleased with how everything went, but did I feel it the next day? Oh my goodness. All right, I think this one might be the longest one yet. I'm a little intimidated by this. I think it's in two parts. Will Lilac ever explain why all of his clocks are stopped at 813? This is a hard-hitting question. This is a hard-hitting question, no doubt about it. For those of you who don't know, in a lot of my older videos and some of my newer videos, if you looked in the background, you would see a clock. It was stopped at 812, actually. A little bit of a misnomer that stopped at 813. It's actually 812. And all of those videos, there's something connecting them, all right? The little thread connecting all those videos. I don't want to give away the whole kit and caboodle, okay? But I will tell you this, if you want a little bit more, and I haven't seen anyone pick up on this particular clue, if you want a little bit more of a better explanation, I would go and check out that secret agent roleplay I did, okay? Look in the background of that secret agent roleplay, and you might just be able to spot something that will lead to a little bit more context, a little bit more information. But, uh, shh, shh. You didn't hear it from me, okay? You did not hear it from me. Except that you, you kind of did. But anyway, so I won't give anything else away for that. So we'll move to the next question, which is, will Lilac ever have social media? Yes, as a matter of fact, I will. You see, for a long time, I did not have any social media, but I decided that if I wanted to really be able to connect with you guys in a way that was a little bit more closer to what we're doing now, instead of just with the weekly videos, I, want, I needed to have some social media. So there are links somewhere around me right now or there should be there shall be also be links in the description there are links on my channel page to what was formerly known as twitter to instagram to reddit and there's even one more link one more link which i will share with you very shortly okay so those are the three main social medias that i'll be using that i'll be appearing on and you know uploading content from time to time to really engage with you guys so if you would like to, I'd really appreciate you to follow me, to subscribe, to follow. I'm not super good with that terminology, but if you happen to have the chance, you should see the links and you should be able to follow me, okay? Alrighty, it's it's just my name, by the way. It's just Lilac Reverie, and then sometimes it's ASMR, sometimes it's YT on the back end, okay? Alrighty, and I'll post some channel-related stuff there, updates, or just pictures that I take, all right? Maybe of a particularly interesting toad. Who knows? It'll be a little bit of a free-for-all, I think, um, which may just be a little bit of incentive for you to give me a follow. Alrighty, and finally, if you notice the, uh, the title, I'm deliberately, by the way, I'm deliberately delaying taking this sticky note off. If you notice the title you saw, Big Announcement and 10K Special, You've been watching the 10K Q&A special. And thank you, by the way, to everyone who submitted a question. Thank you so much. Without you, this would have been a lot shorter and presumably a lot less interesting. So thank you so much. But this last one here was a question that I got from several different people. And I had made up my mind that when I got to 10,000 subscribers, I would do something dramatic. I would do something really big and interesting. So here we go, all right? Because the answer to this question, will Lilac turn his channel into a business, is kind of, yes. And that is the big announcement because this video just so happens to be sponsored. 
You should have heard a little bit about it at the beginning of the video. But this video is sort of sponsored because it's sort of sponsored by me and my new Patreon. All right. So if you would like to, I would love your support on my new Patreon. All of that money is going to go back into the channel, is going to allow me to get new equipment, it's going to allow me to devote more time to making these types of videos. There's only one tier so far. There's only one tier at $3 a month, but there are some incredible benefits that you get. You get access to my exclusive Lilac Lounge Discord server, okay? Access to my exclusive Lilac Lounge Discord server. You get access to some deleted or older videos that aren't on YouTube anymore. And of course, you get access to monthly Q&A sessions just like this. So if you want to hear more about what I do, what I like, all this stuff, or if you just want to have a nice conversation, head over to Patreon, Lilac Reverie ASMR, sign up for that single tier just the one tier so far but if a lot of people sign up we might just open up another tier i don't quite know i do have a lot of benefits in mind though and make sure take advantage of this i think it's a really great opportunity for you guys a lot of you have mentioned you want to engage a little bit more directly with the channel you want to do be able to provide a little bit more support this of course i'm always very very humbled by I'm always humbled and I'm always very grateful whenever somebody leaves that comment because it's incredible the support that this community has had and it really, um, it's very special to me. So thank you so much. And is it would not be possible for me to have a Patreon um, without you guys. So thank you so much for your encouragement to do this and for being able to get me this incredible 10,000 subscriber milestone, okay? With that, of course, this is uh, the final one. So now we get to do the final toss. One, two, three, here we go. And wouldn't you know it, at the end of it all, all of the poster board related trauma that this studio has now experienced, nothing broke. Isn't that incredible? Ain't that a kick in the head as they say, really? really lucky I think and speaking of really really lucky I feel very very lucky thank you so much truly from the bottom of my heart for this incredible 10,000 subscriber milestone all of you guys that say oh man you know I wish you had so many more subscribers you deserve so many more subscribers first thank you so much again that means a whole heck of a lot to me but 10,000 subscribers you know if you would have told me from two years ago that I'd reached this milestone, I don't know that I would have believed you. So it's very, very special. I'm very, very grateful to be where I am, to have the audience and the community that I do, because I think that you're all so incredible and so positive. And, you know, I'm never afraid to go into the comments section. You guys are, are such incredible people. So thank you so much. It's really, really special to me. And of course, um, I wouldn't be a YouTuber, I wouldn't be a good YouTuber if I didn't remind you all, you know, to subscribe if you haven't, because of course it really helps the channel grow, uh, and it will help me reach that 15,000 milestone that I hope to reach at the end of the year, and then of course, if you have the ability, if you really want to, I would really encourage you to sign up for my new Patreon. Um, there will be a link in the description, there will be a link in the main account, and there might even be a link somewhere floating around me right now. Again, thank you so much. Without you guys, none of this would have been possible. And every day I wake up, I feel so happy and so lucky to be able to be a part of this community, so thank you. With that, I would like to bring to a close the 10K Q&A special. All right, thank you so much. And heck, if something crazy happens, we might just be able to do another one of these for 50K, all right? <laughs> I don't know if we'll get there, but I sure hope we do. Thank you 
so much. It would be really special if we were able to. Thank you so much for everything. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.